Hey, what's going on guys? Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. Trust you guys are all doing well. Guess what we're gonna be talking about on this video? We're gonna be talking about trimmer heads and the different ones that are out there in the market right now. So a lot of you guys were actually commenting on previous videos asking me my opinion on different trimmer heads, uh, speed feed heads, and some different things like that. And quite honestly, uh, I thought it was kind of a no-brainer out there about which ones to use, but apparently a lot of you guys are asking suggestions about which one I use, which are some of the better ones, and all that other stuff. To be totally honest with you guys, there's only one that I've been using for, actually two that I've been using for a long time. And let me go over both of them right now. Now this isn't endorsed or uh, uh, any kind of thing like that. It's just what I've been using. Okay, so I want to show you guys this really quick. This right here is the the go-to for me, the Echo Speed Feed 400 trimmer head. Now, I know there's a lot of different versions and brands out there. I also know that you guys know that I'm a huge Echo guy with our UAG, but this isn't endorsed by any way, shape, or form. Honestly, I have been using these for a long time, way even before we did anything with Echo. Now, uh, two things I wanna show you guys uh, on my trimmers. A lot of you guys know that I have the uh, Red Max 260 TS, right? I always take their head off, and I believe this one is a Shindiowa or Shindiowa. I, I don't know, I can't say Husqvarna correctly or Shindiowa apparently, but this right here is the Shindiowa uh, speed feed head. And it's exactly the same thing. You have the little uh, bar, your little locking key that you'll put in through here usually, or sometimes they go right through. And then what you do is unscrew this, and you can replace the uh, head with a Shindiowa head or the Speed Feed 400. And it's super easy, super uh, uh, time saver, man. Like if you're out there uh, when you're trimming, and you guys know what I'm talking about, you you come around the corner of a house, you're trimming grass, you tap the head twice to uh, get some more grass fed, and the line shoots out, and you hear the engine RPM, boom, you know, goes up really high. You know you're out of trimmer line. I would be shocked uh, to see anybody around here at least uh, having trimmer line in their pocket which we always got some with me right got the little uh well this is the black diamond stuff but we're testing some stuff so shh. but all that being said we always have uh me and my guys have trimmer line in my pocket even i'm on the lawnmower i always have some in my pocket because if my guy runs out and he's in the backyard and he doesn't have any hey he just runs over to me i hook him up and we're good to go but when you have this kind of stuff in your pocket and you have a speed feed head, I'll show you uh, really quick. All you have to do is take the whole trimmer, you set it up on its edge, and then that way you feed the uh, trimmer line all the way through the speed feed kind of head. And what you can do is you just feed it all the way through to where it's even, and you're gonna crank that up really quick. And it uh, takes, you know, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 feet of trimmer line. Then as you guys can imagine, you twist it back up, and you've got that 10 or 15 uh, feet of trimmer line back inside the, the housing, the little speed feed head, and you're good to go. Honestly, the whole process probably takes about 30 seconds to do, and you're back in business. Versus, versus here's the alternative, right? Using a traditional uh, head where you have to wind it all up, round it all up, pop the cap off, maybe lose a spring. Sometimes the springs are attached, sometimes they're not, but if it falls into the grass, now you're digging around trying to find that, which it's just like, it's crazy mess. I don't know why some folks don't use speed feed heads. Now, again, I use uh, the Shindaiwa head, if I'm not mistaken, and then the speed feed for hundred lately on everything we've been doing and using but even when I was using trimmers in the past uh, my dealer I would just tell them when I call them up hey I need this trimmer ready to go with one or the two of these heads and I always had access to it so uh, let me show you guys this really quick we'll open it up sorry I'm squeezing through here we got mowers all over the place let's see what we can do so this right here is the speed feed 400 head these might be about 30 bucks or so all right so here you go usually Get the speed feed, it's upside down. There you go. Oh, they have a little hourglass or a little uh, stopwatch thing on there. Talk about saving time, right? So this right here, super simple. Usually in here they have different um, uh, nuts here, different uh, adapters for different size, like quarter, three eighths, uh, depending on your trimmer. And then same thing, once this line runs out, feed it all the way through, you twist it, you wind it up, and it's all right back inside there, and you are good to go. This right here, the Echo Speed Feed, Boom, put it on there. Now one thing I'll tell you guys, and this is a little extra credit, is these little uh, caps and these lids, these do wear out. No, it doesn't matter if you're doing it on grass or cement, they eventually wear out. But here's what I will tell you. If you are the trimmer guy, or if you have guys trimming for you obviously, make sure you coach them to not tap the head on the cement. If you want to increase the longevity of these by probably three times, uh, when your trimmer guy is approaching the house or whatever, don't have them tap this on the sidewalk or on the driveway. Uh, that just makes no sense, you're going to scrape this 
out and eventually that spring is going to eject because it's just going to wear down and get very thin. And you can go through one of these heads probably once per year. But I will say this, if you have a good dealer or if you want to order parts from Echo, I'm sure somebody somewhere can tell you how or where, but these heads uh, caps, uh, just the top part, I don't know, maybe seven, 10, 12 bucks. And I always keep one or two of those around if I don't keep an extra head with me. So that way if that spring ejects, which you want that spring, definitely go look and find the spring. Replace them sooner than you need to. If you start seeing, seeing the wear points, uh, replace that head sooner rather than later because you do need that spring. The cap itself, if you just buy the aftermarket cap uh, to replace it, doesn't come with that spring, I don't believe. So make sure you guys uh, grab the spring, keep an extra couple caps with you. I always keep some in the cabinets. Uh, we go through them just like you guys do. If you have to feed more trimmer line out, make sure you tap it on the grass. Don't tap it on the cement or the uh, sidewalk, but uh, that's pretty much it. So hopefully this helped you guys out. These are my two uh, go-tos, the Shindaiwa, Shind Shindaiwa, let me know how you guys say it, and then the Echo uh, Speed Feed 400, it's my go-to trimmer head. If you're out there uh, in the field, whether you're a homeowner or a contractor and you're winding things up, uh, you are wasting time and energy and money, and honestly, you're probably getting beat by the sun, nobody wants that. So get the job done faster and you guys are good to go. So, all right guys, leave me a comment down below. Which speed feed head do you guys use? Do you guys use the Echo, the Shindaiwa? one? Let me know if you guys use something different. If so, great, just uh, leave a comment down below. Love to hear what you guys are using uh, out there in the field. So, all right guys, that's it. Over and out, Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. We'll catch you guys on the next one, bye-bye.